So welcome to this Good Friday video. Uh, if you're ready, let's take our Holy Week egg box, open it up, and we're going to look inside the purple egg for today, Good Friday. Uh, why don't you open it with me here and see what's inside. Now, hopefully you can see this here. It's a little cross, because today we remember Jesus being killed on the cross. Now last night you remember Jesus was having a meal together with his friends, the Last Supper. And after that meal, he went outside to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And while he was there, a bunch of soldiers came armed with clubs and swords to arrest Jesus. They were led there by Judas, Jesus' friend. Judas showed them who Jesus was by kissing him on the cheek. Judas betrayed his friend Jesus with a kiss. And Jesus was arrested and taken back to the religious leaders. And they decided, yes, they wanted Jesus killed to get rid of him for once and for all. He was handed over to the Romans. He was beaten. He was tortured. He was taken outside the city and nailed to a cross and hung on the cross until he died. Then Jesus' body was taken down from the cross, wrapped in a white cloth and laid in a tomb. So on Good Friday, we remember the cross, Jesus dying and being buried. A very sad day, a very solemn day. And indeed, often in church, we might remember happy occasions uh, like people getting married or God doing a great thing uh, and rescuing and helping people or even Jesus' birth. But we also remember the sad occasions. And today, Good Friday, is a really sad occasion. We remember Jesus being arrested and beaten and killed. So we take a moment to be serious, to be sad, to be sombre. But also, we look forward with hope as well. Because when he was with his disciples, Jesus knew what was going to happen to him. He told them this. He said, the Son of Man, that's Jesus, uh, would suffer. He'd be arrested. He'd be rejected by the religious leaders. And he'd be killed. But Jesus also said that in three days, he'd rise to life. On the third day, he'd come back to life. So we look forward to hope after Friday, Saturday and Sunday on Sunday to see Jesus coming back to life, rising from the dead. In the sadness of Good Friday, we know we have the hope lying ahead of Easter Sunday. Now you might also want to remember the cross in other ways. Um, I've also included with the egg box a cross sand art craft. You might want to try it and do a few designs that you'd like to do yourself to remember the cross and remember what Jesus went through today. And let me close with a prayer for this Good Friday. Lord Jesus, we thank you you died for us. We thank you you died to bring us back to God. We thank you you did all this for us. Amen. So today we remember Jesus dying on the cross. We remember this was part of God's plan to bring us back to God. And join me tomorrow for the last in our Egg Box series.